Okay, here's your challenge. Keep it going, yeah. You can, you can ding, ding, ding while I talk. Okay, I want you to position yourself so uh, your violin is going a little bit towards me. So your F holes are this direction. And even though you have a metronome on and you have to pay attention to that, I'd like you to still have some fun with the piece because I haven't heard you play it in a while. So well, just keep going if you mess up. Can I see if you're in the middle of your sweet spot and all that stuff? I'm sorry. I, uh, is this a speed that you've chosen? Uh, do you have a number written down? Uh, is, is there, I'm sorry, it, I'm just a little confused. I do have a number written down. Like what, what number are you, is it? 56. Is, is I thought this was the slow movement. It is. It's supposed to go that fast? Well, I, I don't care what you wrote down. It doesn't sound like a slow movement. It sounds like you're really fast. Is that how really how fast you're supposed to play it? No. I mean, I, I don't know anything. Do you want to call Marsha and find out? No, I don't. I mean, it's supposed to be like, you know, something that makes you cry. Also, you know, you're not on the string. You're slide, your bow is sliding all over the place. So play me a long tone, one, two, three, four, and see if you can really have every single bow here on the string, that long bow. Okay, that was good, but, um, now do it with a note that you that has a finger on it and see if you can make it sound pretty. Okay, it sounds pretty, but your shoulder looks like it's touching the moon. I think you could do that again and just really enjoy the note. You know, it's amazing. You have a bear on your shirt, and I can't even see it breathing. See if you can make the bear on your shirt breathe while you play. Did it breathe? I, I can't even breathe while you're playing. If I can't breathe while you're playing, then you're not breathing. I'm serious. Really? Okay. Yeah, is this the right speed? Why don't you sing yeah, the first few measures for me with the metronome so I can hear it? Good. Now could you sing it with some some emotion? You know, fill the room uh, or else I'll have to sing and then it'll be no, terrible. I'm fine. Okay, good. Fill the room up with your voice. Let me hear it. Gorgeous. Guess what else I heard while you were singing? Me taking a breath. That's right. I want you to take those same breaths while you play your violin, okay? okay. Just because you just to prove that you have to breathe while you play. Okay, now let's hear it with that kind of the oh! okay. 
I just, oh, no, just, I, just, could you go back to Suzuki that, that, and circle your bow around and yeah? Could you just do a bow circle when you start? So you look like you're really start. Thank you. So you look like you're starting the piece, you know? Don't just like it. Breathe. Good. Good. Now, can I just ask you something? Do you need the music to play that? Close it and give it a try. Just try it. I mean, I'm just curious. You know, it seems to me you've got enough musicality. Maybe you can fake it. Just leave it there. Let's try it. Yeah, stand in the middle of the room. And here's your challenge. See how long you can play before I start singing with you. Okay. Meaning I, I want lots of dynamics, okay? okay. Uh, where's that circle? Mm -hmm. I really want you to, to start the piece like you mean you're starting it, okay? Mm -hmm. Like you mean it. You need a peek at the music? I thought that was lovely, actually. No, I just, I thought I was starting on a different one. Okay, sorry. No. Okay, keep going.
It's okay. It's okay. Okay, so here's what I have to say. I thought that was really lovely. And um, I think uh, that um, it's clear that you probably know the first three quarters of it better than the last quarter of it, right? Mm -hmm. So that's good information for you. So tomorrow morning, maybe just play the second half of it with the metronome, with the music, and then try it again without the music. Okay. What about the other movement? That one goes faster. Well, I know that. <laughs> uh, let's uh, <laughs> uh, let's hear that one. And should we do it? Uh, should we do it memorized, or you want to try it with the? Uh, I kind of need to do it with the music because the second and third page we don't really have like memorized that stamp down yet. Because okay. there's a part there that's very that kind of mixes me up sometimes. Where's my? Let's remember. Can I hear you sing it for a couple measures of it first? Okay. Uh, I lost my and uh, see if you can play on your violin with a little more musicality than that. Lots yeah. of, I, I haven't heard you play it, so I don't know what it sounds like. Oh. What's the number on the metronome? Oh, 72, but that's, it's just the echo that kind of makes me like it's just. Okay. Just echo, so kind of All right.
So um, it sounds really good. The only thing I would suggest for the first page that you just played, and maybe you can look at the movie because I'm recording it, is that um, towards the end, it sounded like you were getting a little tired and your bow was sliding over towards the fingerboard and you were playing quieter because you were over there. So I would try to stay more in the middle all the way through, okay? Maybe, can you play the last um, two lines and then flip the page and go, or do you need to tape these pages together? There is a rest. Oh, okay. So play me the last two lines, try to stay in between the bridge and the fingerboard. Not, you're already on the fingerboard, honey. I was just getting Well, I'm just saying, okay. How did that feel? Same. Well, it sounded a little stronger, even if it felt the same. It, from my perspective, it sounded stronger. And your fourth finger looks pretty good. Your third finger looks excellent. I'm still trying to make it up to the original, like the 72. Okay, well, absolutely slow it down then. Sorry, not... To the speed you can play it at, of course. It's no problem. I put it at the speed I was doing it. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna stop you for a second. Okay, guess what? I wanna tell you something, okay? You look really tense while you're playing and you are your shoulder is like, like locked. So something about what you're doing isn't working. And I don't know what it is. Maybe the metronome is playing too fast. Maybe you're trying to play too much at this speed too long. So I wanna do an experiment, okay? I want you to 
play at the beginning of the page and I want you to play it with the metronome and I want you to play two lines and stop. And we'll stop for 30 seconds. And when you're playing those two lines, all I want you to think about is maybe, okay, turn the metronome off for a second. So you've been playing here for 22 minutes. So you're probably getting tired and you need a little break. But um, I want to see if you can loosen up your shoulder on your own. Now, when you were a little girl, Danielle or Eugene or somebody suggested putting a stuffy on your shoulder. But I think what's going on is that you're putting all your, you're trying so hard. Can you look at me while I'm talking? Is there, is the, is the page speaking to you or something? Okay, I'm over here. Okay, I love you. And I'm not criticizing any of the music. I'm only saying that I think you're putting so much effort in that you're not giving your body a chance to catch up to your brain. And to play really well, your brain and your body have to work together because it's not just reading a book. It's physically moving a bow and moving your fingers. So play me the first two lines and see if you can just, you know, relax a little bit in your right arm and focus only on your fingers or focus just on your bow. See if you can figure out a way to play those two first lines with more relaxation in your body. I can't really tell you how, I just want you to see for two lines if you can figure out a way. No, don't do the metronome, just play the two lines. Could you move your body a little bit? Can you sway? Can you, first of all, put your shoulders up and down a few times for me. This the right one that looks so stiff. Yeah, move it up and down a few times. Okay, can you play the first line and move your shoulder in the middle of it? Even if it sounds horrible, can you do it for me? Just move it in the middle and even if you make a mistake, just, just, just move it up and down. <laughs> no, that was good. I love it. Do that again. Yeah, just the first two lines. Now, I want you to put the violin down somewhere safely. You can put it right here if you want, or on that chair. And I want you to think about like um, the most expressive people you know. Like, I want you to pretend you're on stage having a conversation with somebody and like, what? What? Oh, show me some. Show me, show me some pretend talking where you use your body, your hands. Just pretend to like, you know, talk to somebody like you're an actress. You don't actually have to say anything. Just like, see if you can move your shoulders and your body while you're talking, like an Italian. Do you know any Italian people or Russians? We use their hands and their bodies all the time. Rem well, act like Rem for a second. Just pretend to be Rem then. Uh, yeah. Uh, By the way, Rem's shoulder is permanently like shaped like the violin. Have you ever noticed that? His body is like tilted because he's been holding a violin so long. But I go ahead. His neck is kind of. Yeah. Like uh, right. Okay. So we don't want you to look like Rem. So pick somebody else. 
like Billie Eilish or somebody. I guess Eugene is kind of a... Okay, when he plays, that's right. Eugene puts his shoulders up and he, he kind of it acts. See if you can do that for one second. Like you're a dancer moving your body when you talk. You just did it. You moved your shoulder up when you talked. That was good. Okay. I do know some, like, um, oh, I forget. Um, what's it? So, um, so if tell, I say, do, do tell me the story of the, th just start. The, the three bears. Once upon a time, there were three bears. And see if you can tell it, moving your shoulders and your body and your hands, you know. Once upon a time, there were three bears. Okay? Go ahead. Um, once upon a time, there were three bears. And there was a mama bear, a papa bear, and a baby bear. And then... Uh, I forget the story kind of, but... Okay, but what I want to tell you is just in what you just did, your whole body was moving, your arms, your shoulder, okay? When you play the violin, you have to do that. Like or you're going to be stuck, stiff, like a frozen, stiff, hurting statue. It's like if you tried to play volleyball like this, like this, it, it would be horrible. You yeah, would be you stiff, you would... Okay, so I want you to tell the story of the three bears while you're playing that first page. Can you do it again? So violin is practically like talking. It is. So talk while you play or sing or something. I don't know what you want to call it, but Okay, it still looks a little stiff, but at least you're moving your body. And I think that's better. Okay. I think you should try to move more. Not because uh, I think you need to be more dramatic, but I think you need to connect more with your brain and your body. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. And the way I do that is like by singing. And when, I, when you were little, Marsha and I used to ask you to sing while you played Twinkle. Do you remember that? Yeah. Well, but look at how relaxed your shoulder I'm is while you just singing. did that. So can you sing with it My inside your head? Try it again. Yeah, but it's also kind of a rocking motion with your arm. Your elbow has to move a little more, too. That's my opinion. Try it again and see if you can move your elbow a little more. Not behind your back, but yes, but down. Not, yeah, try it. Okay, so that's enough. I want you to play this movement with the metronome tomorrow morning, and I want you to play it a little slower. Okay, fine. Um, you're going to have to ask Marsha and Eugene about your shoulder, and I'm going to make you watch the last uh, 10 minutes of this video. So you can, or I'll have you, I want you to watch yourself play a little bit, okay? So maybe you can watch some of it and see if you can see what I'm talking about, okay? Upload this to Marsha in case she wants to watch it, okay? She just certainly doesn't have to.